Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to work on finding the percent of a number. And specifically, we're going to be finding the percent of a number by converting to a decimal and multiplying. This is one of the easiest methods to find the percent of a number. Number one, whenever we read this problem, what is 32% of 44? We have to realize what the word of tells us to do in math. And the operation for finding 32% of 44 is to multiply. So basically we're multiplying 32% times 44. Now, it's easiest if you first convert the percent into a decimal. So 32% as a decimal, we simply rewrite the number, and then we're going to move the decimal two places to the left and drop the percent sign. Another way to write 32% as a decimal is to realize that 32% actually means 32 per 100. That's what percent means, per 100. And then we would say this number as 32 hundredths. So to convert the percent into a fraction and then a decimal, we just write it as a decimal the same way that we would say it, 32 hundredths. Once you have it written as a decimal, we simply have to multiply. So when I multiply, 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 times 30, if I multiply as if they're whole numbers, would equal 120. So we get 128. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but now remember, this 4 is in the tens place, so it's 40 times 2 and 40 times 30, and we get 1,280. When we add those numbers together, we end up with 1,408. We need to move the decimal two places to the left. Now, some of you are probably wondering why. Well, if you see two decimal places in one of your factors and zero decimal places in the other, the rules for multiplying a decimal by a whole number are to count those decimal places, and then we find the sum of that, which is 2, and that tells us to move the decimal two places to the left. So we did two jumps, 1, 2, and then we get our final answer. And our answer is 14 and 8 hundredths. My last recommendation is always make sure that answer is reasonable. We know 32% is going to be about a third of 44. And so you could just take 44 divided by 3 and see if it's pretty close to this. Okay? All you have to remember is convert to a decimal and multiply. I hope that helped you out with percent of a number. See ya!